Hey guys, welcome back to the Z Code System and the Z Code System channel. I'm Drew and it's good to have you here if you're just passing through or if you're coming back for another look at one of our videos, then it's great to have you here and we'd love it if you would like and subscribe to the channel so you can get updates every time that we post here on the Z Code System channel. And of course, you can go over to the Z Code System blog and read up on all of the different posts that we put up there with our picks and predictions for all the sports uh, that are going on or you know a lot of the sports that are going on right now due to the uh, the way things are in 2020 we have a lot of great blogs over there and a lot of great picks and you can also use the tools over at z code system and the vip club now as you can see there we've got some picks for this weekend's upcoming action in the scottish premiership uh, the football going on there we've got three we've got three matches that is um, that we are going to or that we have identified there for you to have a look at. But today in our video, we're not talking football. We're not talking basketball. We're not talking baseball. We're talking politics. Now, as we know, or as you know, the U.S. presidential election 2020 is coming up in November. It is a huge one because of all of the different uh, issues, if you will, going on um, in the U.S. and also, you know, some of those uh, issues around the world that impact the U.S., um, and everything that's been going on for the last four years since Donald Trump took over the presidency of the United States. And you can go over to our blog, uh, to the blog and read all about um, the blog that we've posted there about the election and about betting on the election. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about that here in this video. Now, before we go any further, I want to give a disclaimer. This is not a video that uh, promotes one candidate over the other. This is not a video about one party being better than another. That is not what this is about. So if you are thinking that is, or if you are judging this video on that, then please just stop watching now and, and leave because this has nothing to do with uh, a political affiliation or um, how anyone is going to vote. This is simply about betting. This is a betting opportunity, just as baseball, basketball, NHL hockey, any of that, a game is a betting opportunity. And the election in the U.S. is a major betting opportunity for punters to take part in, uh, whether the person that you want to win wins or loses. So um, I just want you to understand that this is simply about betting. So uh, we have posted our blog last week. Um, we're just getting around to getting a video up about this. Uh, and of course, in politics, just like in sports, things change very, very quickly. So um, some different things have happened over the last couple of weeks or the last couple of days, I guess I should say. But um, in all, right now, we have seen Joe Biden, the Democratic nomination. He is currently leading in the odds. And we're going to take a look at odds in just a bit. But before we do that, let's take a look at a few other little tidbits before we get to that. And to do that, I'm just going to click on the blog that um, I posted last week to give a bit of information. Now, as you can see there, there are really the three people who um, this is going to come down to. Of course, Joe Biden there on the left, he is the Democratic nominee. And then we have Donald Trump, who is the incumbent and the Republican. And then in the middle, we have Kamala Harris, California senator, who has uh, become the, nom the uh, vice president nominee to run with uh, Joe Biden. Now, she... Uh, is in many people's eyes going to tip the balance for this or to throw this into Biden's favor. Now, again, remember, we're not talking about who we want to win or we're not promoting who we think should win. We're simply saying what the betting is, is saying and where the odds are going. And right now, Kamala Harris, with her celebrity um, status, if you will, is helping throw some uh, help, I guess you could say, behind Biden and getting people to um, support him even more. Those people who are on the line are moving more towards Biden at the moment. Now, you could say that her political celebrity is very similar to Barack Obama's before he became president. Uh, if you cast your mind back to long time ago, um, 
when Barack Obama was giving speeches at the Democratic National Convention and people were saying at that time, boy, he we're going to vote for him for president. We want him to be the next president. And four years down the line, he did become president. So this is a, a woman who has a lot of um, power that she's throwing behind Biden. And a lot of people are taking notice. And this could be a chance for um, Biden to become president. And then in the future, Harris to become the first female president uh, of the United States. Now, um, as we scroll through here, the presidential election is going to be on November 3rd of this year in the United States. So, um, of course, if you are there in the U.S., you already know this. You've probably got that ringed in red and you're ready for that. Now, interesting note here. Right now, the sports books do have odds on favorite being Joe Biden. Now, this is something to keep in mind because the last presidential election, Hillary Clinton versus Donald Trump, as we saw, Clinton had the odds from the sports books, uh, and she was the favorite going into the day, going to the election day. Trump was five to one to win. He came through with a incredible victory to become president, and it was um, an unforeseen victory. Nobody saw this coming, and it was a shock uh, because the public, the popular vote went to Hillary Clinton, the Electoral College, in the U.S., if, if you don't know about the Electoral College, then you might want to, if you're not from the U.S., you might want to do a little bit of reading up, by the way, before you bet on uh, the election this year. The Electoral College threw their weight behind um, Donald Trump, and he became president. Now, remarkably, that was the second time in 20 years that the Electoral College went against the popular vote and elected a Republican president. Now, this is quite an amazing thing, because before... This happened in 2000 with George W. Bush beating um, uh, Al Gore with the Electoral College. The uh, Electoral College had only gone against the public vote three times previously, and those all came before the 1900s. So it took 100 years for the Electoral College to vote against the popular vote. And in 2000, we saw it with Bush. In 2016, we saw it with uh, with Trump. So actually in 16 years, we have seen it twice rather than uh, it didn't happen for a hundred years. But again, we saw it for six in twice in 16 years. So that's quite special. So be aware of that as you get ready to bet on this election coming up. Now, before we go any further, let's take a look at uh, some of the polls. Now I've just brought up, I've just brought up the Financial Times uh, website and they've got um, an election poll here. Now, of course, there are lots of different election polls out there. And I'm sure that you have your favorite news outlet uh, that you like to use. And their information may differ a little bit. OK, so this is just the one that I brought up today, uh, Financial Times. And as you can see uh, right now from their um, uh, their calculations, Biden is uh, winning, and we can see there each state how they are voting. Uh, a lot of the red states, the southern states there, as well as um, Midwest and mountain states, going towards uh, going towards Donald Trump. While we see a few of the other states, uh, the I guess you could say the the coastal states, many of them going towards um, Biden. And one interesting one there is Florida, uh, who is notoriously a Republican state. So interesting stuff there. And then we've got some toss-up states. So be aware of these polls if you're going to be betting on the presidential election and get up, get to, get your knowledge from these. Get uh, you know, Don't just look at one, by the way. Look at multiple ones so you can you know cross-check your information. Now, let's take a look at some of the odds. Uh, and to do this, I've just got Odds Checker up here. And, you know, you may not use an aggregate website like this that uh, aggregates all of the odds from the leading sports books, but I've used this here just to give you a demonstration of what uh, sports books are going for. And we can see the top two there, Biden and Trump uh, in the running there. And they've got a few others uh, underneath that that uh, have no chance, no shot, uh, and aren't even running. Uh, but we've got Biden and Trump there, and we can see that Biden is right now, and I've used fractional odds because that's 
which is what I prefer. Um, they are uh, three to four is one of the best looking odds there. And if I can just get that to go away, there we go. Um, he's three to four uh, as best odds right now. And um, Trump has been cut to five to four. So those were um, some headlines today that his odds have been cut to five to four. So perhaps moving a little bit closer to Biden as we get closer to November. Now, today, as I record this, it is August the 25th. So we still have uh, just over two uh, just over two months until the presidential election uh, comes up. So still a lot of time for, you know, a lot of things to happen. So, uh, you know, people to be swayed, people to fall away from supporting one of these two men. So that is the odds right now. Now, before we go today, I just want to take you uh, take you over to the Z code system line reversal, which is another great tool to use if you're going to be betting on the upcoming election. So as you can see here, if you go into the VIP club, if you're a member at Z code system, you can access the VIP club and you can also access the line reversal tool. And the line reversal tool, as you can see, that works with all uh, different kinds of sports. You can do baseball, hockey, uh, NBA, soccer, whatever you want to do. Um, and you can uh, just click on the one that you want. And as you can see there, we've got our, uh, our election there coming up. And then as I scroll down, I can look at how the line has changed over the last 72, 48, 24, 12 hours, wherever I want to go. And right now I'm looking at Joe Biden uh, and his line reversal. So seeing about the smart money uh, here on Mr. Biden. And then if I want to look at uh, where the money is on Trump, well, and the odds are on Trump here, I can change that there as we got the underdog right now. But as you can see there, things have changed just a wee bit uh, in on Trump there. So this is a great tool that you can use. And especially if you are making a late bet as the election comes uh, a bit closer, you can use this tool to get some profits, to make some profits, uh, making a last minute wager on the election. Now, again, remember, Trump was five to one to win on the day of the election in 2016. And he ended up winning in a huge shock over Hillary Clinton. And it's been proclaimed as one of the biggest shocks in U.S. presidential election history. And again, for the second time in 16 years, the Electoral College went against the popular vote and voted uh, Trump into office. So, again, that's only happened five times in the history of the U.S. presidency. Uh, and <laughs> remarkably, happening twice in 16 years before that didn't happen for over 100 years. So, a little food for thought. So, guys... Hope you enjoyed this video today, giving you a little bit of information on the upcoming presidential election and this great line reversal tool to use at Z Code System. And obviously the blog over at Z Code System, you can read up on all the information that we've posted there. And we're going to be following up on this uh, as the as the uh, election approaches in the next month, uh, two months, I guess it is. As I said earlier, two months to go. Um, also, you can go over to the Z Code System website and check out the other blogs we post on sports. Uh, baseball, basketball, football. As you saw there, we have some soccer up there for the weekend. Uh, some ice hockey has been posted for the NHL playoffs that are going on right now. Fantastic playoffs. Really enjoying that. Hope you are too. And of course, you can use the VIP tools and check out all the videos we have here on our YouTube channel and uh, hopefully like and subscribe to the channel and stay up to date on everything. Guys, thanks for tuning in today. This has been Drew and I'll see you next time here on Z Code System. Thanks a lot.